Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here showcasing the September card kit by Love from Lizzy. As always this is not a sponsored video, I had the pleasure to meet Elizabeth while I was in Creativation last year, she is such a sweet and kind person and it is my pleasure to support her. She runs her online shop from the UK and her car kits are absolutely amazing, packed with products every month. I am going to do an unboxing today so you can see what's included in the September card kit and I'm also going to share some ideas. Now, I also like to mention that these kits retail for about 30 euros or 40 dollars and you will see that you get tons of products for that money. So let's take a look on what's included. First of all, you will get these swatches. These are watercolor swatches by Winsor & Newton. There are six colors in total, all matching the colors of the card kit. Just use a water brush and work with that uh, swatch as if it was a palette. We also got this bag of uh, sequins in a mix of gold and purple. These are enamel dots and they are really sparkly. And let's see what else there is inside this little envelope. So you get this embossing powder jar. It is called uh, Perfect Plum. The color is lovely and it matches the color theme of the kit. You also get satin ribbon in five colors. And uh, this is a bag packed with die cuts. Now these are lovely flower arrangements that you can use on top of your projects in lovely colors. I absolutely love this color theme this month. And actually today I'm going to show you a quick and simple idea on how you can use all these uh, cutouts to create uh, simple cards for any occasion. Now let's move on to the big bag and see what's included there. You will be amazed on uh, the amount of products that you get in this kit. So first of all, let's take a look at the papers. So this is a 6x6 pad. There are 20 single-sided papers, including 5 pearlescent ones. Now these backgrounds are perfect for me. I absolutely love this type of backgrounds because they are not uh, busy, which means that they will help any focal point that you put on top to be the star of your project. And I am trying to catch the light for you here, so probably you can see that five of those pages are actually pearlescent. Now this is a bag which is packed with frames in this uh, lovely color theme again with a bunch of flowers on one or two sides and a geometric design. Now this can uh, be turned into shaker cards, you can add a photo inside, you can add your sentiment inside, they are really versatile and you can make tons of products with them. And now let's take a look at the stamp set and the dies that you get. So in the stamp set you will get flowers and leaves as well as three sentiments and those lovely designs which are really random for your backgrounds. I absolutely love these ones for my art journaling. So in the kit you do get the matching dies to cut out the flowers and leaves and also three sentiments to cut out. Now you will also get this piece of paper, this is watercolor paper that you can use with your swatches. You also get these metallic strips, these are self-adhesive, you just peel them off and stick them on your projects to give a, a lovely shine. And you also get three pages of stickers, you will get the whole alphabet with that lovely flower arrangement. Now the fun part about this alphabet is that they don't have a white part, they are completely transparent which makes them really versatile and you can use them to personalize your projects by sticking the initial of your recipient. Now this is a vellum, it is embossed with uh, foiling, absolutely gorgeous and here are the five colors that you get as a cardstock. I cannot recommend this card kit enough, this is great value for money, for $40 or about 30 euros you will get tons of products to play with in this lovely fall color theme. So now I'm going to share three card ideas which are really quick and simple to make, just by having all these products Lizzie makes it easy for us to create quick and simple cards for pretty much any occasion. So here I'm using one of the papers, I'm going to cut it down to size making sure that it is slightly smaller than my card base, I always like to have a little border all around. Now I'm going to use one of my circle dies which is one of the basic dies that you probably all have on your craft room. I'm going to try and find one that matches the circle on the frame. I'm going to place it at the center of my paper, secure it down and run it through my die cutting machine. 
you know, I absolutely love shaker cards and the moment I saw these frames, I knew I had to make at least one of my cards into a shaker card. So I'm sticking acetate at the back of this window and uh, then on top of it, I'm going to stick my frame. And since you get loads of these die cuts, you can create many, many cards like this one. Now at the back, I'm going to use my foam tape, create a little bit of a barrier so that I can add the sequence inside. The mix that I'm using is the one from the kit. It has, I don't know if you can see that on camera, it has gold, copper and a little bit of uh, purple inside. I am going to peel off the backing and stick that on top of my card base, making sure that I'm going to trap the sequence in the right spot. An easier idea is to just stamp the sentiment inside that window, instead of turning this into a shaker card. Instead I decided to die cut the sentiment, this is one of the dies from the kit, that says warm thanks. And here are some close-up photos on the first card for today. Now I'm going to make a really quick card, this is super simple to recreate and you can actually mass produce it. It is a great idea if you need a bunch of cards for a specific occasion. This is going to turn out looking really elegant but at the same time it's going to be very versatile. I have a piece of paper there stuck down at my panel and now I'm going to combine a ribbon from the kit. I'm using double sided tape where those two papers meet and these are going to provide a great way to keep my ribbon put. So I'm making sure that this is quite thin so it's not going to show on top and at the bottom of the ribbon and I'm going to secure that piece of ribbon on top. Since the kit provides you with lots of ribbons and lots of pattern paper you can create many of these panels in different variations. Combining all those different die cuts, the ribbons and the pattern papers. I'm using white glue at the back of this panel. I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. And my focal point is going to be one of those flower cutouts. This is a really quick card. It is easy to mass produce and you have tons of products to do so. Plus it is so simple and elegant in its simplicity. The white border around the card matches the white border around the cutout and brings everything together. And with the tons of products that you get in this kit, you can create lots of these panels. And of course, there is plenty of space to add your sentiment. For this panel, I decided to go without a sentiment, just because I think it is looking really elegant as it is. Now let's move on to the last card for today. Here I am stamping one of the sentiments from the stamp set. I'm using Versamark ink and I'm stamping on top of one of the pattern papers. I will apply the embossing powder from the kit and I'm going to use my heat gun to melt the powder. Now this is going to dry into a nice and shiny sentiment and hopefully you can see the shine here. Now I'm going to take one of the frames and I'm going to add uh, glue at the back and I'm going to stick that on top of my pattern paper, making sure that the sentiment is nicely aligned. And before the glue is completely dry, I'm going to use my scissors and cut out the excess paper, making sure that nothing is going to show outside of that frame. And for this card, I'm going to combine two pattern papers. So here is the other one that I chose. I will use my paper trimmer to cut it down to size. And this is one more of those super simple cards and really quick to recreate. So all I have to do is to add tape adhesive at the back of my focal point and stick it on top of my paper. I'm going to finish off this card by adding a few of those enamel drops from the kit. And this is the fun part about using a kit is that everything is made to match together. So you can use any of those colors of enamel dots and they will match my project perfectly. And I'm going to call this card done, but take a look at how many of those frames I have in the kit, which means that I can make lots and lots of these type of cards. And here are some close-up photos on the last card for today. And here is a quick look on all the three cards that I made for today using products from the Love from Lizzie September card kit. Make sure to check it out, you will find all the links that you need down below. I absolutely recommend this card kit, it is so fun and packed with products. Thank you all so much for watching me today, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you had fun and that you got inspired. Have a lovely day!